In this session, we are going to learn how to read the different kinds of file types in Python. This sounds very easy, but when it when we try doing it, we face a lot of difficulty. So let's see a very uh, short and summarized session how to achieve the following. In this session, we will take care of the task from one to five. We will we will learn how to read the .csv, Excel file, .txt file, .json file, and .zip file. And in the other session, we will cover the rest uh, rest of the file types, how to read them like XML, HTML, .docx, .mp3, .mp4, and images, and the hierarchical data format. So let's start. So I have the data set along with me. These are the data set. Like this is .txt file, this is .csv file, this is xls file then it is this is dot json file so first of all number one we will work with how we already know like in all of my previous examples how to read df underscore csv is equal to pd dot uh, read underscore csv and also the name of the data set is salary we will see here the name of the data set is salary data underscore train dot csv and we already have this pandas data set so we'll like import this and we'll execute this so our df.csv is prepared so the next like data type is it is to read the excel file so you give df underscore excel is equals to excel read excel function is already there for directory we have this we'll read that only so this is also prepared and this we have the next task is how to read the dot txt file df underscore txt this is equals to pd dot and then we'll give salary dot txt the same thing we have in our salary like in a okay same thing we have here salary dot txt comma it is equals to we execute this this is also executed and we have our salary and uh, if we don't give header as none Okay, now it is much better. We don't have to give header equals to none. After this, the next task is how to read the dot JSON files. Df underscore JSON underscore CV. CS, uh, sorry, read underscore JSON. And then we have this World Bank data set with us. Well, this World Bank, uh, this, yeah, this World Bank dot JSON. Execute this, we'll get error. So, because we have to give lines is equals to true. Okay, so now this df you have to further format it, but it is much easily, much more, and very easily uh, readable if you compare it with the previous format. If it is there in the uh, JSON format, the so number five is how to read the zip file. Like from the zip file itself, we will use uh, we will read our uh, .csv or .json file. Of course, we will give uh, for this we have to give import zip file, and then we will give the object of zip file is equal to the zf is equal to zip file dot zip file, and then we will pass what is the what in this uh, directory what is our zip file? Our zip file is this. We we'll copy this. And then we'll simply paste it here. Dot zip. Okay. And then what we'll do? Df underscore zip is equals to pd dot read underscore csv. And then we will give zf the object which we have prepared here. Zf dot open. And in that we have to pass dot csv because Open this salad data underscore dot zip. It contains the same zipped in a dot csv form. So this is done. We will execute this. Zip file is not defined. Fine. So zip file is also being easily like read. So this is how like we can uh, use uh, different like pandas uh, read csv and read uh, json and we'll read excel. And we will import the data whether it's in a .csv, .txt, .excel, or .json, and we can get it into our Python 
the objective of doing uh, like this conversion like from getting everything into pandas is when we are doing the machine learning each and every data or the whatever we get will not be in dot csv we will face multiple uh, challenges when we have to work with this kind of data and the the more we go into uh, like machine learning the data will be in like will be in dot json format even the like image processing the image will come into pictures dot mp3 dot mp4 like audio processing is there and then even everything is possible so even html will come into play like if you want to analyze a website or the code of a particular website so all the possibilities are possible so you should be like equipped with all the ways how you can read a different data format so see you in the next videos where we will work on how to read xml html docx mp3 mp4 images and hierarchy so thanks a lot for watching this session if you feel this video is helpful please please press the like button and subscribe to this channel thank you